what's the difference between the SE series and GR? Yeah, there are lots of differences. Um, different categories in the differences. The visually, you'll see that we've gone for a retro look. We feel that a lot of our customers really love the kind of heritage feel of the Prestige series, and that certainly in Asia is what Tannoy is, is renowned for. So each model has the GR, very royal looking uh, logo, uh, and that's actually engraved in the front panel. So this is not a sticker, this is engraved into the panel. Um, much improved from the SE series. Uh, we're using very heavy duty brushed aluminium. Uh, the Canterbury has changed fundamentally from kind of a, an elliptical, uh, kind of a more square uh, trim metal surround to the drive unit to now a five piece metal surround which uh, covers underneath a 10 point fixing for the new 15 inch drive unit. So this is a very, very rigid, heavy duty um, uh, change to that fixing. And you, when you audition these, you notice the difference sonically. That's a new um, pulp and paper mixture, very rigid, even more rigid than the SE before, which already was, was a rigid driving. That is backed by a very heavy duty Alnico magnet on the rear. And that gives you incredible um, speed and detail and low end depth. One big difference really with the GR series from the SE is the capability with a much, much wider spectrum of music nowadays. Um, you will notice if you know the SE products, you'll notice that the GR products have more uh, impact, if you like, and we've improved the detail at mid-range also, so at mid-range and high-end. So there are definite differences sonically throughout this series. And you'll find that from, from, from the Westminster down to the Sterling, the baby model. In the Prestige GR series, use our in-house, if you like, five terminal uh, binding post panel. This is produced for us, this is the WBT Next Gen. We have five terminals on our binding post panel. The fifth terminal is a ground, an earth terminal. So if there's any RF interference in your system and you connect that ground terminal through to the amplifier, that will eradicate any interference you're experiencing. Are supplied with the Prestige Gold Reference Accessory Box embossed with the GR logo apply one of the most important components for this series which is the tannoy wax to polish the cabinet every couple of months you can polish the cabinet keep it looking rich because again in Asia we encounter lots of humidity lots of differing temperatures lots of sunlight you can keep the cabinet in tip-top condition by using our own, and it smells wonderful, our own wax. Especially on the big two models, the Canterbury and the Westminster, is the gold reference key. Each of these, of course, has a front grille. Those front grilles are lockable. So that's something very nice that people love. They appreciate the heritage, the kind of feel of something really special. The Westminster is obviously our flagship in the five models of the GR series. This carries the same 15 inch monitor as the Canterbury we've just been talking about. Um, the visual difference of course you can see in an instant is um, the horn loaded cabinetry. Take that dispersion even wider so you can fill that large room and still get fantastic imaging. As a manufacturer, uh, which type of amplifier would you recommend well, users <laughs> to push the, it's, it's, to That's a very difficult question because state or to each end. customer has their, has their preference. I have my preference, but the flexibility, that's the point I really want to get over, is the flexibility of this drive unit. Basically, the drive unit makes the use of different electronics actually very easy. 
so the customer doesn't have to change his whole system just because he wants a pair of Westminster. What is your preference? Would, would you like Me? It? Yes. Uh, I like tube amplification a lot, I have to say. I do like tube amplification. I recently heard the Kensington with my dear distributor in France. Uh, I recently auditioned uh, Kensington's with airtight tubes and I have to admit that was very impressive, very impressive. But I've heard many, many, you know, the demonstrations we're going to do tomorrow with solid state, with esoteric, also fantastic. Totally different characteristics, but a diff just a different listen. But if you want my preference is tubes, I, I like tubes. <laughs> yes, uh, the active speakers, uh, we will in introduce at entry level to begin with, so that we'll produce uh, probably, probably a four or five inch and a six inch um, active, two active models, hopefully to come this year. Uh, we have three new active model studio monitors in our Pro Series already just been launched. Uh, so the technology is already there. So this will happen and then we'll develop that further. Um, it will have a lifestyle feel is what I can say. I've seen some ideas. Uh, we haven't decided yet on the final thing but you will like